Hello! Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today is a very momentous day. It is a special occasion, because for a very long time now, for months and months and months, but especially the last couple of months, I have been trying to basically replace the unreplaceable. Elizabethan mixture. My favorite everyday pipe blend. I have been loving this tobacco for... Five years? Four years? I can't remember exactly when I first fell in love with the beautiful Elizabethan mixture, but it became my daily meat and potatoes smoke. I loved it. Whenever I wanted a pipe and I didn't know what I wanted, Elizabethan would fit the bill. It was a great vapor. Very basic, very uh, simple, I guess. Elegant, you could say. It's Virginia's. Nice matured red Virginia's. The perfect amount of perique, and I just loved it. I loved the ribbon cut. I loved everything about it, the mechanics of smoking it. It just always hit the spot. It always fit the bill. And it was a horrible tragedy when Dunhill, basically all Dunhill tobacco, ceased production. And ever since I found out that that was going to be the case, or even when we first heard rumors that that was going to be the case, I started looking for a replacement. And I had certain criteria. I wanted it to be a vapor. I wanted it to be a ribbon cut, even though that was sort of negotiable. And I wanted it to be an American-made tobacco because I figured it would be easier to get for me here in the States. And it also had to have been produced prior to 2007, on the American market prior to 2007, because as we all know, with the new FDA deeming regulation, regulations, which will go into effect, I think, in 2021 now, it seems like it's always up in the air, any tobacco produced after 2007 will be subject to those regulations. But if it was produced before then, most likely it'll continue to be on the market. So recently, I've been going through some different blends and I narrowed it down to three from GLPs. We started with GLPs Stratford, then we went to GLPs Telegraph Hill, and then we went to Fillmore. And I've done a video on Stratford. I did one on Telegraph Hill, and this one is going to be the Fillmore slash my final decision video. Um, Stratford was the one I liked the least out of the three. I liked them all quite a bit, but Stratford was number three, Telegraph Hill was number two, and Fillmore was number one when I initially reviewed them. But then after I had Stratford, I was smoking it for a good two weeks, had several tins. I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. This might actually work. But then I tried Telegraph Hill and I thought, yeah, actually maybe this is better. Maybe this will work. And now I've been doing Fillmore for I guess two weeks now, I had three tins of it. And well, let me show you what I said about Fillmore when I first reviewed it. Yes, so all in all, I am very impressed with this blend. I think it is my favorite of the vapor blends that I've had by GLPs so far, and I've had quite a few. And if you're someone who likes that rich, deep, dark, fermented fruit, sort of uh, Virginia flavor with a bit of Perique in there. You like that kind of vapor. I think it's definitely worth you checking out GLP's Fillmore. I will definitely be ordering some more of this. I need to have quite a few tins before I can actually decide, will this replace Elizabethan? Who knows? But it's definitely in the running. So, so there you go. You can see I liked it quite a bit when I initially reviewed it. But now, at long last, after going through this exhaustive process, when I was just smoking tin after tin after tin of all these different blends. I did, I think I did five of Stratford, I did five of Telegraph Hill, and now three of Fillmore. I finally, under this handkerchief right here, have the winning GLP's blend that will try to fill the shoes of Elizabethan mixture. Very big shoes to fill. But here we go, gang. Are we ready? Ugh, maybe get a drum roll here. This is it. The replacement for Elizabethan mixture is... Da! It's GLP Stratford. Surprised you, didn't I? You weren't expecting that, were you? I wasn't expecting it either, but here it is. This is Stratford. I have just purchased five more tins of this, and this is going to be my daily vapor, my whenever I want to smoke but I don't know what I want to smoke, I can smoke Stratford and it'll fit the bill. It's weird. I liked Fillmore a lot. It was my favorite when I first initially reviewed all these blends, but 
I don't know. It just wasn't doing it for me this time. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that it is a, it's a broken flake. It's not as easy to deal with as a ribbon. And I do a lot of my pipe smoking in my vehicle. And I guess it's just easier for me to pack a ribbon, to light a ribbon, to smoke a ribbon. I don't have to relight as many times. It's just easier to deal with. And also the Perique content just seemed not quite right. The balance didn't seem quite right. And now, even though on the last video we did on Telegraph Hill, I was saying that I enjoyed Telegraph Hill more than Stratford, I don't know what happened. I tried them all again. I had a tin of each again. Once I had done my big run of Stratford, my big run of Telegraph Hill, and my big run of Fillmore, I got a tin of each again. And I was taken from each tin, you know, it, this is a very exhaustive process. I took notes. And I don't know, it was just Stratford. Stratford just did it for me. It's not my favorite. And that's the weird thing. This is the weird thing that this whole process has taught me that even though Elizabethan, I probably could say was my favorite vapor just in terms of all around stats, it might not have been the most flavorful. It might not have had the most kick. It might not have had the most just interest going for it, but taking all the criteria as a whole, it was my favorite vapor. Stratford isn't. And I don't know why I felt so compelled to pick it other than that it just it just sort of eased itself in there and it's working for me on a daily basis. It's a meat and potatoes sort of blend. It's not as good as Elizabethan. It's nowhere near as good as Elizabethan, but it's good enough. It's good enough until something way better comes along and just really knocks my socks off. This is it. It's Stratford. Elizabethan, I'm sorry you're gone. I loved you. I loved you dearly. I loved her dearly. But it's no more. There's no more Elizabethan. Elizabethan is dead. Long live Stratford. GLPs, and I think in celebration of this momentous day, I will load a pipe. I have got my brand new Briarworks billiard, my stubby little billiard here. Sandblast, I think they call it the Dark Blast on the Briarworks website. They're not paying me to mention this, by the way, but I just got this pipe and I thought it would be fitting to inaugurate my new daily driver, my new daily smoke, GLP Stratford, with a new pipe. So let me load this up and we will take a celebratory puff. All right, gang, the pipe is loaded. We're ready to go here. Let's do it. This is it. My new daily driver. GLP's Stratford. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, that's working. That's doing all right. Let me tamp it down here a little bit. Just a little tamp it. That's it. You know, it doesn't taste exactly like Elizabethan or really very much like Elizabethan at all, but you know, it's working. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll hit the spot. That'll be just fine. Here we go. This is it. This is me. For the foreseeable future, this is my daily smoke. Taste this now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. mm. I mean, uh, who needs Elizabethan, huh? 